Hello, my name is Jerome Rose and I am the Founder Director of the International Keyboard Institute and Festival. One of the great joys of having a festival is you can bring the finest young talents from around the world. I'm happy to say that Vladimir Rumyantsev is one of them. He is a product of both the festival and having studied at the Manus School of Music. We are delighted that he's presenting such wonderful virtuoso works, these wonderful transcriptions from Liszt to Rosenthal. He is a brilliant pianist, a brilliant virtuoso, and actually has become a great spokesman for this repertoire. I'm, I believe you will find this performance very exciting. I wish to thank Dean Richard Kessler of the College of Performing Arts, Associate Dean Jessica Cochran, and the great Pavlina Dacoska, the chair of the piano department. You will find this video most exciting, and we are pleased that all of these young artists have been part of this festival of 2021. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Vladimir Rumyantsev. I'm a Russian pianist living in New York. Today is my honor to be a part of the International Keyboard Institute and Festival. I would like to thank Professor Rose for giving me such an amazing opportunity to share with you these rare piano transcriptions. A few years ago, the Manus Sounds Festival sparked the inspiration for this concert. It is thanks to head of the piano department and this festival, Professor Pavlina Dakovska, and special thanks to Mr. Donald Wagner. Most of these pieces were written at a time when pianists weren't just pianists. Actually, they didn't even exist. Basically, composers were the pianists, so they could play their pieces, share it with an audience, and only with the development of the piano by the end of 18th century, beginning of the 19th century, appeared pianists as we know them today. But they weren't just pianists, they were composers. They were artists, they were interpreters of masterpieces, they were conductors, they were fully developed musicians. During the 19th century, it was the apex of the piano transcriptions both at home, when the amateurs played simple and very easy piano arrangements of famous operas or songs, and second, for concert pianists. And in this case, they showed the variety of technical elements, very challenging passages, new elements like octave thirds. And the most influential person of this genre is Franz Liszt. Franz Liszt had a variety of different transcriptions. From very close to original score, Bach organ prelude and fugues, or Beethoven symphonies, to completely free a new fantasies on operas. The first piece I'm going to play is a grand fantasy on the motifs of opera Niobe by Giacomo Pacini. I will tell you a little bit of Giacomo Puccini because his music unfortunately completely forgotten nowadays. So Liszt basically took a very small cavatina, frequent flutterings, and he built the huge piece, the truly grand fantasy. It is famous because he played it in his contest battle against Thalberg in 1837 in Paris. I truly hope you will enjoy it.
next transcription is by Ignaz Friedman on Johann Strauss's Frühlingsstimmen, Spring Voices. Ignaz Friedman was a Polish composer. His colleagues, for example, Rachmaninoff, called him the best virtuoso of his time and placed him amongst such as Godowski, Hoffmann, or Rosenthal. I think he's a true example of pianist composer. He had also original works, but in his transcriptions, you can see how great he was. I hope you will enjoy it.
I would like to share with you a piece by Percy Granger. It's called Blythe Bells. He took the famous secular cantata by Bach and uh, he freely transcribed it for the piano. He was an Australian composer. He studied in Germany and moved to England. Afterwards, he even became an American citizenship, citizen. He is famous for his uh, arrangement and also for looking for folk music. Unfortunately, by the end of his career, he said that he is a failure as a composer. The next transcription is uh, made by Grigory Ginsburg on Rossini's famous Figaro's aria from Barber of Seville. This is a very special transcription for me because it was made by my teacher's teacher, Ginsburg, who was a teacher of Professor Sergei Darensky in Moscow Conservatory. Actually, every student, basically every student, played it in our student, from a freshman to legendary Denis Matsuyev. If I can tell it, he didn't like our plan, saying that we should follow instruction by recording of Grigory Ginsburg. Grigory Ginsburg was a Soviet 
famous pianist, professor, and he has a variety of different transcriptions. I really hope you will enjoy it. Nowadays we also have brilliant pianist composers. One of them is Andrei Romanov. He's a famous Russian pianist, 
Now he's studying at Manus School for Music with Professor Pavlina Dakovska, and also he's studying at the same school for composition. This year we celebrate 100 year anniversary of birth of Astor Pizzola, a famous Argentinian composer. So Andre made an arrangement of his complete four seasons. But today I would like to share with you the Inverno Porteño. It's the winter in Buenos Aires, the first piece. I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you.
The last piece is going to be symbolic for this recital. It was made by Maurice Rosenthal, and he was one of the most favorite Liszt students. He also believed that pianists should be well-developed musicians, not just pianists who interpret ma different masterpieces. So he, after that, he even got his degree in philosophy. So I would like to present his Carnaval de Vienne. In this piece, which is called Humoresque, he combined three different waltzes by Johann Strauss into one. In, at some point, you will hear even three waltzes going to be played at the same time. I hope you will enjoy it. 